you know you can't deliver in three days just be honest tell the person that this thing is going to take a week rather than giving a fake promise some people are underpricing and some are overpricing let's even put the overpricing aside hi guys it's 2021 i'm so excited 2020 has been a very hectic year with ups and downs but with god's grace we have been able to pass through my name is akosia adoma i mostly do crochet tutorials a little bit of vlogs okay i love to share a fashion story with others and handmade is my main specialization so if you are interested you should consider subscribing turning on your post notification so that you don't miss out on any of my exciting videos and also share to others so others get to know about this channel and then we keep on going like you guys are so amazing this channel would have never been possible without the support of you guys I do get a lot of instagram dms talking about how my works are amazing all those words of encouragement are so superb and you guys are so amazing you guys are god sent today is a very exciting day and i think this is going to be my very first video for 2021 i don't know yet because i will be recording a lot of videos but i was thinking of addressing a topic an interesting topic that is going to help a lot of businesses small businesses and um, especially online businesses and then crochet brands as well i see a lot of people now going into selling of handmade products and yes i'm so excited that the market ex expanded talented young ladies are coming out to do something for themselves get some money for themselves it's a, it's a very exciting initiative now people are getting to know about handmade because the market is opening up that there's something called crocheting and you can make a lot of cute outfits with your hands and it's very unique as well but the issue is how do you stand out from the market space because a lot of people are now coming out um, to sell crochet products how do you strategize with your online business how do you get a lot of audience to see you how do you make money selling crochet items so if you are interested in this Please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notification as I said and give this video a big thumbs up. So guys, before we continue, I want you to grab your pen and paper to jot down some essential things that is going to help you. This so the first point is one, focusing on your brand and your social media handle. You know the business is mostly online and online business is one of the best so far, especially with the coronavirus outbreaks and it makes it more convenient to sell online because everyone is going online searching for a particular dress but how do you stand out from these online markets which are numerous on social media okay it is your branding okay so what attracts a customer to come on your page and be like this girl is doing amazing work is your branding techniques okay you might have done the same job but what should make him or her select you out from the other brands on social media the way you arrange your page the way you brand yourself the way you take your product pictures these are all branding techniques the first thing you have to do is to produce content you don't expect to get customers if they come on your page and there's absolutely nothing you don't necessarily need a model that's one thing people don't get they think um you have to make crochet outfits and then go and look for models to model them when i started and i didn't have the money for the photo shoots i started with a little product photo shoot okay and it's one of the best neatly arranged handmade outfits is one of the best that can bring you somewhere like it can take you to places all you have to do is to get a white backdrop a blue or a, a pink backdrop however you want it i was using my phone all this while when i started the crochet business i was even using a nokia phone by then and i used to take a whole lot of attractive products um, photo shoots all I had to do was lay it down in a nice way and then make sure that the color is popping I do a little bit editing which will be for another video because like a lot of people have been asking How do you edit your pictures and videos? You should invest your time in getting a lot of content 
quality content for your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter. The next thing I want to talk about is watermarking your product photo shoot. So you are creating content for your Instagram handle and you are taking pictures without watermarking them. This is something that you are going to do for a long time. You are going to, it's a, a process. You are going to build your brand. A lot of people are now emerging and there are a lot of lazy people out there who are going to steal your work. I have a tutorial on how to watermark your project and I'll be linking it in the eye above. It helps people get to know your brand. It's not only about stealing. People see Adoma the Crusheta and the, the, the name sticks in their head because you're always watermarking your project. There's no need for you to get like a photographer because definitely when you are starting, they are going to charge you extraordinary expensive prices which you might not get to afford. So it's better for you to utilize your props okay so get a backdrop get a photo prop and then lay your crochet product or whatever product you are trying to advertise and yeah i have a tutorial on how i take my product photo shoots as well for smaller items i'll be leaving a link in the description as well as the eye above and i'll be also doing an updated version so the next is the editing editing your pictures are really important okay there are so many many several techniques you can adapt in order to make your products appealing you can change the background of the picture i'll be doing another tutorial on that if you guys want me to just let me know in the comment section and you can also um, increase the quality by increasing the brightness the contrast the saturation or however but you don't have to over edit them because you are going to um end up having funny pictures for your page so the next is uh, looking out for unique designs okay pinterest is one app that helps you expand your business you get to know a lot of things that you might even have thought of and then you get to see the thing visualized on pinterest you don't have to just be doing the regular thing that everyone is doing what makes you stand out for them if i choose this designer i know what makes her stand out from the others and that is what um you need to adapt in this online business okay so then the next is pricing of your item okay pricing of your item is really 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 important some people are underpricing and some are overpricing let's even put the overpricing aside the underpricing is really, really bad. You are underpricing your item. You are spoiling the business. Everyone is charging like 250 Ghana CDs for a cover-up and you are charging as low as 50 CDs. Other customers are going to think that we are overpricing or we are trying to get huge profits on our work. Whilst you yourself know that you are going to spend about a week of sleepless nights on that project. What of your skill? What of the energy you put in? because you are going to work really hard. It's not just a one day project, it's a handmade project that you are going to put a lot of effort in. Why are you underpricing your work? I just don't want to talk much. It's really, really, really ridiculous and sad at the same time. Why don't you give it to charity then? Like, I don't know why I should underprice my work because the person thinks at the end he, has, he or she has paid for your effort. If you are going to charge someone, charge the right way. And if you are going to donate or do charity, just give it to the person out for free. Or if you are doing a giveaway, it's another issue on its own. Just make sure that you price your items well. And I'll be doing another tutorial, hopefully, if you guys want me to do on how to price your item. I know it will benefit a lot of businesses here as well. And the next point is promoting your post to reach a wider audience. There are a lot of um, posts that you see that these ones, people are going to love it, okay? Some posts already do well without being promoted. I feel like you should promote those posts so that it goes on a long way of reaching other people. People get to know your brand. So the next point is um, tagging your inspiration. Yes, you do watch a YouTube video and then you make a cute top. It's good for you to tag the creator or tag the person who taught you or tag someone who inspired you. Um, it helps you connect with other people. People get to know you because probably the person is going to post about it on his or her story. I think it's, it's a very good initiative that I've seen with my own eyes. Um, help build other brands as well um, they get exclusive tags from a lot of crochet designers who have wider audience and people get to know about them so the next is 
spending time to connect with others as i said connecting with other designers and i know a lot of people are like they don't want to um, associate themselves with other designers because you know the whole crochet industry is a whole big issue on its own and yes i won't love to talk about it in this video because it will make the video extremely long the next point is about keeping your customers now you have done all these steps and you are building your brand and now you have gotten the customers okay you are getting your customers it's good to keep them as well okay so if i if a customer buys a crochet top and he doesn't like he or she doesn't like it the next time she's going to purchase from another person it's good for you to keep up with your branding techniques and one point is to package your items very well packaging is a whole broad issue on its own okay and i'm not saying i'm a perfect person because i even have an issue on packaging but i know that packaging helps because i've seen with my own eyes how businesses have grown with their good packaging skills you don't necessarily have to get an expensive paper bag there are so many ways of being innovative and you just have to sit down and think of how to be innovative in your packaging i would love you guys to also get a logo as well it also gives you a specific brand that helps to promote your businesses as well and getting a website is also another thing i would love to talk about it because i don't have my website now but i'll be having it very soon this 2021 so you have to watch out please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't i know you haven't so the next point is deliver on time customers hate when they are being disappointed and everyone hates being disappointed okay if you know you can't deliver in three days just be honest and then tell the person that this thing is going to take a week rather than giving a fake promise which I, i'm also guilty of but most crochet designers are always guilty of it's good to deliver on time to keep your branding and reputation because you are looking forward to open up the online business and connect with others the next is connecting with your customers and I think this is going to be the last point. <laughs> Getting to know your customer's feedback is absolutely important, okay? You get to know how to go about the outfit next time and it helps you know how to um, promote your brand as well. And your customers give you the honest feedback that you need and yeah, it's really important, okay? So you just have to connect with them and let them know whether they like the item it's just like how a lot of companies do and that's how you get to know that they really like the item or they do not and i hope you enjoyed my video okay i'm so exhausted so i'll be dressing a lot of topics if you guys love this content and i'm trying out new things this 2021 and i hope you are excited about it i'm almost one year on this channel and i'm so excited like we have come a long way <laughs> So if you love my content, remember to share to others so that they get to know about my channel and give this video a thumbs up as I, I said. It really helps if you think it doesn't. It really helps the video grow and yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Stay safe. I love, I love you like la la la.